Welcome to the Moto IQ podcast, and uh, we're going to try to get together about once a week and just talk about cars and stuff with you guys and different topics. Um, so this is our first one. We don't have much topics to talk about, but um, what we'd like you guys to do is, in the comments below, um, just type in what you would like us to talk about, and uh, yeah. Exactly, and uh, we're coming live at you, or not live? No, we're not live this we're time. We're not live this we, time. This is pre-recorded to make sure we don't say any sh stuff that we regret <laughs> saying. We're kind of trying to keep it PG. -A. Let's keep it PG tight. 13. And yeah, if, if this goes well, it starts going well, then maybe, if, maybe we'll start doing it live, and then you guys can do like live Q&A, and we can answer that stuff. Yeah, but that requires a little more tech. So we'll get into that. Other, other podcasts have gotten in trouble for having alcohol and substances on them. And, um, oh, I mean, not in trouble with authorities, but with corporate sponsors. But since we don't have any, <laughs> I, other, other than White Line, we'd not, like to welcome our newest sponsor to the sponsor role on Moto IQ, which is White Line. Yeah, who doesn't Thank necessarily you, promote drinking or promote really this specific pod. This is just additional love for them yeah. because they just came on board. It just kind of happened to coincide. Thanks, White Line. Cheers, guys. Appreciate Welcome it. back. And they make like tight suspension stuff. And if stuff. you don't want this on the podcast, Literally. just shoot us an email and tell us, hey, take that off. Well, like, we will. Well, like doesn't motorsports <laughs> used to have um, probably they're good cool though. Like they feel very uh, insulative. <laughs> well, Dundon used to have drinking on theirs, and then. People got uptight about it, and then what was what was somebody? the uptightness about it? I don't know. Yeah. They had they decided to stop. They exhaust people. Yeah, no. or the Porsche, the Porsche people. Because people just got the P10. They, they had a podcast, or was it like a Porsche Tech Talk? Or they had like this Whiskey Fridays or something where they're. It's actually in the f***ing name, and people got but heard about them drinking on the Whiskey Podcast. Yeah, Porsche guys. Yeah. Was it scotch? I, Were they I, mad about the I scotch? don't know too many what details, was that? bro. I need to I, know this. All, all I know is they had the We're crit. drinking Jameson here, <laughs> and then, the man, a whiskey of the, of the little guy. And, Let's have some now, in fact. So remember. This is actually our second recording of this. So yes, we didn't we tried have the, the camera first time, on the first time. So remember I was so. on Hootigans, and then they gave me all this liquor to make me calm it's down. A beer, what was a beer with? No, it's a beer. It's it was a coffee. That, it was it? a coffee with. Yeah, and I didn't beer. want to drink beer, and they gave me some other shit, and uh, then. Oh, you didn't want to drink beer. Yeah, and then Hootigans got in trouble for doing that Square. beer with whatever, with their, their uh, fing private equity fags. Oh, we weren't supposed Dude. to say. Dude, that's a big oh, beep. That's a beep. That's a big, that's a big, big ass beep we'll, right we'll there. We'll dump it. You gotta dump that. We'll dump it. Dump it. That's what they say Snafush. in the Snafush. All right. Snafush. So, so who, who again's got in trouble for having alcohol for first with their dump. beer with? They something. still got bought out though. Yeah, they still got that fat Here's, cheddar. So, any of you uh, private equity people watching this, Sorry, come talk to us. You didn't drink. Come on, man. Sorry, I already did it, dude. That kind of was. You guys had ah. me. We had already done the cheers right. thing. Like, I was in there. It's just making. Okay, it, so. It's making it harder for Jeff to edit. Car oh, podcast. It's gonna beep. We want to talk cars. Maybe some of the most asked questions that even. Okay, so when you guys send in your emails about Moto IQ car requests, then. You know what? I'm gonna do my first. What really grinds my gears is getting. Engine build email. That oh, still oh. happens, man. Or, or you, you guys get them. Well, you get the uh, email of it's our thing. Literally and it says engine build. Engine build. And I don't even get a car sometimes. Not even a type of car. I, I, I see. You're making model. Nothing. So we have a form. Mike mentions it on mm. every video. If you want to have us work on your car, go to the website, click on the top, it says Motorike Grad Services, fill out the form. And then I guess people fill out the form. They go to the website. Oh, they, they have to go to the website. If they you, have if you want to, if you want to call it, fill out the form. Oh, and then I even <laughs> said in some videos, you if, yeah. Uh, if you if Which, you by put the way, engine build, I'll, I'll, we'll reply yes. Or we just. <laughs> but by the way, I think people are maybe doing that on purpose to just. Oh, because of me. That's kind of, of funny. Like, oh, <laughs> people are saying engine build and send. 
Uh, actually, so if you fill out the really, form, really don't think they're and you spam. put if you put engine belt and that's no, it. we've gotten the spam emails with the XXX and no, but Martin, is it safe to say if you fill out the form and all you put is engine belt and you don't even put what kind of engine you have? I'm deleting it. It's straight in the trash. I'm deleting. So don't do that anymore. Yeah, I, I delete it. We 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 think that's really funny because, I mean. What are we gonna do with engine bell? Did you just? No, we're gonna dump. Did you just fart? I didn't fart. I said. F no, I thought. I thought you were talking about his f bomb. I thought you just farted right now. Sound or smell? Sound. No, I didn't fart. You chair creak, creaky? All right, Your all right, chair all right. Is creaky. Back on topic. Back yeah, on back topic. Yeah, back on topic. Anyway, yes, yes, card stuff. So, what can we do? Because. You get a lot of the same emails all the time. Maybe in like two minutes, what can you tell people that want that reply to our to do fill out that form? Uh, I would, oh, anything oh, that we oh, could say to like the more details, the better. Is there like, any general answers? That no, it's there's like there's plenty of general. If you want an engine most build, folks, most folks want to know how much it's going to cost to build their engine. All we need to know is what kind of engine you want and exactly what your horsepower can you Just tell a, them a horsepower what? level that you're looking for horsepower level and your anticipated use can you tell them right now though if you have an ls or an each because what are they what are the top three and well we can easily just top of the uh honda k series nissan k a24 believe it that's a honda bro I know. <laughs> no k a24 oh k a24 yeah, yeah. nissan k a24 uh, EJ. Uh, and EJ. Yeah. And EJ. Honda K EJ. series. I already said What's that. the base? Oh, sorry. That you tell them, like, <laughs> can you say, like, assume for, you know, they're generally speaking, you can say, for, to put everything together, it's going to cost you. I'll that. give you a number, a pretty easy number, actually. I don't know. What, that is a very good question. Just to, Jeffrey. like, knock down 50%, because the less time you're spending, $800 per cylinder. It's basically, it's basically what you're going to pay for for machining, I mean block machining, engine blueprinting, engine assembly. It's basically 800 bucks a cylinder. And then you're going to pay for head work separately. That's we pretty can talk good. About but that's a great metric. $800 per cylinder is normally what you're going to pay for. And for those of you guys that say that's a ripoff, I mean, I don't know about your engine builder, but... Uh, no, just go somewhere else. Go somewhere No, you seriously. You no, know, absolutely. Go Fine. somewhere else, because those are the last customers we want to deal with. They want to nickel and dime the labor portion of it. You can supply your own parts. The last thing we want to worry about is making margin on 5% that you're going to make on parts here, dude. So, yeah. Yeah, we're not going to skimp on our, on our labor. And there's a, there's a bare minimum of what we're going to do, and we have turned down jobs because we're not... Yeah. Well, we have a backlog, and we... Don't need yeah, to. We're trying to so. get through that backlog. Woo. I mean, there's a kind of famous local Datsun engine builder around here. And, like, the bro was talking to me, oh, you do all this unnecessary stuff. And I go, well, what do oh, you really? do? He goes, I just go to the machine shop, and they measure everything. And I don't need to measure that. And, uh, you know, like, and then I don't is do. Is this for, like, bearing clearance? Dude, he charges about as much as we do. He doesn't measure shit. Wow. He just he just goes to Yo Machine Shop. I don't even know who he uses, and he just slaps the shit together, and then he's he charges about as much as we do, and all this shit blows up. Mm. Or or his satisfied customers are guys that have classic Datsuns. They're they, going just punting around. And time. they just tool the cars and coffee, and yeah. you know they go, yeah, this is my. Three liter L, L motor with triple Weber's and yeah, look how all the numbers match, bro. Yeah, and then Late. no, this dude builds a lot of motors and it it really sucks because any of his customers that actually drive the cars usually his engines don't do too good, his engines burn oil, the leak down's bad and. So to bring it back on topic a little bit, sorry, eight hundred dollars a cylinder, eight hundred dollars a cylinder, and if you have an EJ, uh, go take a look at our EJ pricing video. LS, LS. we have an LS pricing video. We also have a KA twenty four and K twenty four, and even an FA twenty four. They're not totally pricing videos for you FA guys. The EJ video pricing video is basically the same. Yeah. Links will be in the description right. below. Yes, thank you.
Absolutely, let's do that. And better, you better actually put them in there. Oh, and in a, a little a little plug in the middle Probably of this, will. if you want some Moto IQ merch, Nerd Lions, some Mike's is a little old. They actually look better when they're not too I years watched old. this about 50 he times. He has one. Like, dude, who's this? We gotta get you some I don't more. even have one. I have, have Moto, I have a Moto IQ shirt. <laughs> if you want to well, sell black didn't... shirts, just let us know. We'll put it we, up on the We'll, we'll get you a black we shirt. We could sell black shirts. Actually, no, we don't even want to sell shirts. Well, we want to sell some merch because we want people to know about the Last brand. time we paid to f***ing sell shirts. F*** that. We're not selling any more shirts. No, we're I, selling I didn't mean to bring it out of my podcast, but f*** that. Listen <laughs> to this guy. F*** the Anyways, we'll cut that out. If you want some merch. <laughs> we want to sell merch. We got some merch. You want the cool shirts? You want some merch? Just go buy some. You want a black, ba- a basic shirt? We'll, 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 this we'll, sponsor we'll make more money on we'll this spo- one. We will we'll sponsor on you on some merch if you want to get some merch. Okay. All right. So what's our car next stuff? stuff? Cars. We, we should talk about car stuff. stuff. Yeah, we should talk about car stuff. What is some of the most asked questions we get? Oh. Random misfires. You mean like check engine light stuff? Yeah. Oh, that's boring. <sighs> no, that's boring. What? Why don't we talk about what interests us anymore? Like we, I mean, we talk about. Well, what interests me, you guys don't even give a f- about. Like I actually enjoy Formula One. Do you guys know what happened this past weekend in Formula One? No, no f- not a clue. One. Not a clue what happened to McLaren. Come on. I think really? didn't uh, the what's his. You got to know. You watch Instagram, so you got to know something. Oh, what's his name? Lando Norris? I don't want to say the black guy. F1. <laughs> but the black guy. Yeah, like 10. yeah he got some award or some no, crown. two weeks ago he won. All right, all right, no, all right. he was like the most popular sports person in ever in oh, really? Europe. Oh, no, well, we I saw it on some Anyways, if you want to talk about car stuff, you're not interested in Formula One. No, okay, okay, okay. tell us what you're interested no, about no. in Formula One, and maybe someone in the audience will like that too. I'm sure they what? will. Sound off in the comments. Do you think Lando Norris should have gotten that win? Or do you think Oscar Piastri should have gotten that win? I feel that Lando Norris earned that win. He was plenty of time ahead of him. If he would have compl- <laughs> actually agreed to change places ahead of time, he would have passed him anyway. I don't care Anyways. about racing. I'm not even a racing fan. You're a Why racist, not? though. Because... <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude. Just kidding. Dude. This was the natural progression of that... Talk. How is that? We're natural? drinking alcohol. It was funny. Okay, Racist. sorry. Go on. Go on. Go on. No, like. Also, those are made-up names. Those are I'm, real people. I'm not right? even a racing fan. Are, okay. because, those are actual names. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not a racing fan at all. Why not? Because I, I work in racing. I do race support. Um, I have enough problems just thinking about how to make my customers shit fast and win. So you don't. Enjoying watching cars no. go fast, or so like, the, I would I would think that you would be interested, especially because of you're you're very highly involved right now in Time Attack, or even drifting, but especially in Time Attack, there we are now entering. We have been we're deep into the Aero era, and that's a lot of what's going on in F1. And it, I, that's what I you, that's you know what what I mean? would think that you would be interested. It, in that It's part like of it. if you're a gynecologist. You don't care about looking at pussies because you do that for work. Yes and no, because I'm involved with, granted that yes, uh, you know, dealing with customers or ordering parts or managing customers or what have you. But, and it's all involved with cars, but I still like cars. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to you're dealing, you're mostly dealing I'm with I'm sure cars you still like to. with them. And I'm sure you, you still like problems. going home and dealing with your job subject. So, I don't know. It's like. I have to be so focused on what's in front you just of me. Don't like want, did you ever enjoy watching racing? Not really. Ever. Boom. They're, 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 they're you, you and I enjoy Did is, you ever wa- enjoy that, watching racing? I think racing? that's well, what I'm saying. I think that's what it is. You never really enjoy what it. What I like is putting together the big puzzle and doing the best I can. Or You don't enjoy watching Or, or helping my team do the best they can. But that's probably because he's already at a level where it's just like, whatever, I know of it. Like, I used to like watching racing. I watched... I used to watch kart racing. Damn. That was the last time I watched open <laughs> real racing. No, and then kart when was pretty good. We just I completely was, did. Yeah, I know. Like, anybody, Whoa. what was that, 1990 or whatever that, that yeah. ended? Like, yeah, I stopped watching it. Like, I was like, this is stupid. All they're going to do is, because at the time, they didn't do 
Indy didn't do any road courses. It was only oh. circle tracks. And then, yeah, it was just, it was Whoa, whoa, horrible. whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't jump the gun, though, man. Like, if I, wants you got to, no. He's not drinking. You movies. at least got to bring up a, a subject that we're... He was cheering to the end of cart, and then that was... Are you cheering to the end of like cart? Did you like that? No, I'm cheering to not being a race fan. Oh. I've been a racist. Yeah, not really. I don't, Race I don't follow any. I don't even know what you do on a week. <laughs> <laughs> I feel terrible. I, have a, I do check. Like, did you win? Did he lose? Did he lose? I see your post sometimes. I'm like, oh, okay. Damn. He did okay. Or congratulations, because you have been doing really well on By the thing. way, absolutely. Congratulations, yes. by the way. Hey, congratulations to Mike and the Sorensen team. Yeah. You've been doing you record, been the, records. The, the first, He's in the top 10, bro. No. The like, first woman to podium in FD. And that, too. FMA. Sure. And FMA. Yeah, man, the first woman sure. ever the podium. That's making history. Cheers. Cheers to that. I won't watch it, but congratulations. Yes. <laughs> I'll check the I'll check the you results. Like, I'll check out the results email just. But you know what? Like team. like I I'm at the track, I'm staring at the computer, I'm I'm looking at all the data and I'm trying to put together this big thing in my head about this is the data, what can I do to make the data better? Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's kind of hard, and um, I just don't have mental energy yeah, you to wouldn't go wanna watch. Why would you want to spend your extra time watching more of that? You yeah, wanted, like you have a daughter, spend time with her or a wife. And then, her. then I have a daughter that's a racer, and well, I guess uh, you are spending your time building the spaceship, the Kojima spaceship that he's building right now. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, it just gets worse. That got out of hand. Man. That is a good car topic to talk about. Building cars with Kojima. <laughs> what happens to you when you let Mike Kojima take over your project? So I bought this S13 <laughs> that was oh supposed my to be God. my daughter's track day car. And now it's like... Which had an... Like let's let's, let's come give them the full story. The car already had stop tax. It had a braking system. It had an SR swap in it already. It lived in our shop up there for it was already 10 a, years. It was already a gutted car. You literally had to do maintenance. Get it to run. Maybe, oil. maybe change the suspension if you want it to be sweet and put some sweet KWs on it. Fine. And that's all you had to do, dude. Oh, and, no. And what has happened to that car since? Oh, 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 mind you that you had us remove the, remove the engine so you can clean the engine bay and you were just going to put it back in and because you already took the engine out, I'm just going to let you finish. Is that true? Was that your plan? Like oh. you were just going to do this? Thing? Oh, I was yeah. just going to get it running. It started very small. It was cool. Like, yeah, he's, she's going to go have fun with her S chassis. He's already got an SR why? turbo. Okay, I don't, I've never heard the story of why this went from it. Dude, it snowballed. So, it, so it's like, like <laughs> I, I got the motor out. I better pull the pan off. And then it's like, oh, f there's metal in the pan. Where did it come from? Oh, we better take the engine apart. Uh, while the engine's apart, might as well build it. <laughs> okay, I mean, that's fair. And then now that I'm building the motor, it's going to make more power that's going to blow up the, uh, the stock tranny. So I'm gonna, i got to get a dog gear set. And then uh, since I'm building this motor with a lot of power the dog gear set, um, should I better get a more advanced uh, engine management system? So get all this Haltech stuff. Oh, well, since I'm doing all that, it needs a mil-spec harness. And then I open up the gas tank, and it's all rusty, and it's like, well, that's no good. Fuel I, cell tank. I guess I got to get a fuel cell. That's and a bad gas tank and location you, anyway. And mind you, though, yeah. that these are all just parts, okay? So all this is, like, any, any guy building his race car project is going to be buying all these parts. That's not necessarily where he gets out of hand. Where he gets completely f***ing hands, what you're doing with the chassis of the car. Um, I get moving the seat location a little bit. Well, while the Fine. car is all apart, might as well do some fab. <laughs> some, some fab, right? Okay, some fab. Please explain to the audience what some fabrication is to the all Kojima right. spaceship. So I'm making a semi-tube frame and... Uh, Kobe. Um, steam welding everything and uh, adding reinforcements to the unibody and... Uh, Making custom parts. Making custom parts, and since we had to do a fuel cell, we had to make a whole mm -hmm. saddle thing to oh, hold the fuel cell. And why cell. not get a carbon fiber dash while we're at it? 
Yeah, I mean, because it's sweet. And the racing steering column and containment seats and... Meanwhile, I mean, who's your daughter office? that's going to be driving Two it? Two corners of her shop are just full of spaceship. I understand that, though. I get that. You don't want your daughter to... Yeah, I don't want my daughter to... Okay. You're my bros. We've all known each other a long time. I hear you, and that's very sweet of you to say what you're saying about Mike, but we all know that. Yes, of course, you want to build the safest vehicle for your daughter, but this is just what you do with cars. I mean, we could bring Rathena on the show and ask her about her S13 and how it just completely yeah. went well beyond what she wanted just because. Well, it's be but, it's not but, but you got to admit, <laughs> you got to admit that Rathena's car was the biggest piece of crap in the world. It was, and we left like a pretty sweet, but I mean, I'm, all I'm saying, man, so I guess there's, there's definitely two, no, there's actually three but, but well-balanced ways of building cars in this Rathena, little table. Rathena would have perished in flames if we allowed her to No, no, that's that no car. doubt. No doubt, bro. No doubt. But this is the same thing as, like, Krista could have been driving her car right now. Krista could have been doing a couple of track days by now if you had just stayed on track of, let me just make sure the car's in okay shape. And you know what? You're right. Let's like, rock. I should have just made that thing run. <laughs> let's rock. I mean, but Do you hey. think that the, what you're doing now is going to affect the way that she drives? Like, she'll be afraid to drive it? A, no. A, like, what, uh, I've done some of my cars as I build them way too powerful or, like, they scare me and I can't drive, I can't, like, like Integra is a perfect example of a car I that I can you... get in and I can, like, floor it and not be scared. But, like, the RX-7... Yeah. That's, that can get a little out of hand, and yeah, like I, I, sometimes I, I, I go over. I build a car. I don't above think that, my ability level. I don't think that scares her because she no. drives an ICC shifter car, yep. and that's fast as. And that's one thing I want to say. Like, I hope she doesn't see us because I don't want her to have a big head. Because you don't want a big head when you're getting into cars, especially because she's making the jump from cars to cars. She's a Kojima. But dude, she's no, she's a good shoe, man. I mean, she does she. Whether she's got math skills or not, I'm not going to judge, but she's got balls. So I'll give her that. The girl's got balls, and, and we can, don't you assume can, gender you can give her You can I give her that like you. <laughs> she's got courage. <laughs> Fucking Jesus. Okay. I well, I mean. Do you have any regrets of, the, like, now that you've, like, well, you haven't even finished yet. Well, I think when you're like, writing well, checks, well, immediately you have regrets. I, I, I think what I like is that once the car is done, I don't have to f with it for a while because, yeah. yeah, it's already pretty good. And if I had just got the car running, then it would have been this step by step, take the car of down. Of building a car. Yeah. Yeah. No, and, no, no, I hear that. And now it's just going to be done and she could drive it for years and it'll probably be good enough. Mm hmm And I mean. Granted, I guess there's also a case that could be made, I'm sorry, just playing devil's advocate here, of. Building, there's also a lot to be gained from building a car and going through the finding the weak points of a build and then going through that process. You know, but you know, it's the S chassis. Yeah, I know those things inside out, so might, might as well. As well. Just do it now, if you know what all the. And then, oh, oh, oh. like, she doesn't want to drive the FRS anymore because, you know, like. It's tainted. Well, when you have the suspension just break and you crash because of that, um, she just goes. Uh, no, I don't even want to drive it anymore, and I don't want to be responsible for all the damage that's happened to the car. By the way, if you're interested in a 2012 can we, can we FRS, we've got just one for go sale. Ahead and just knock that right yeah, out. Yeah, let's sell the us. FRS. We do need to sell that, and it's not bad. It's fixed now, right? We will it's cut fixed. and start over. Yeah. We have a pristine. 2013 FRS for sale. It is. It's just right there. It really is. It's just a suspension. No, but that was interesting what you were saying. What were you saying about our different build styles that where was that gonna go anywhere? Oh no, absolutely. No, I think we all build pretty thorough cars. We build thorough cars, but we will build them in different ways, man. I think a perfect example is the spaceship you're building and my my race car, for example. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the most with the least amount. And I'm not I going, don't think you cut corners in your car. Well, absolutely. I'm, I mean, do I have a big brake kit? No. Do I have uh, power steering? No. Um, there's a lot of things that could be refined, and I, How I guess I love. How long have you been I, building that, though? 
It, and that's a perfectly po the point that I was making earlier with Mike of you know there's a there's something to be had from building up a car. He's right. He already knows what all the weak points are. He could just fix it now. I've been building that car for the better part of almost 20 years. That but I you would like cool car. is you've been on the track more than any of us and having fun, and then like I. I've just been building a car. Jeff's just been building shit. But I guess it's also. But well, that's you, kind of an interesting point because that's where I mean, after doing things that way with like some of my other, like the RX-7 or yep. or the Integra, the it, slow kind of I'll do this and I'll just oh, and then I'll up or, or even like the Golf, my old cars. The with the Jeep, I mean, because no one is interested in our channel of helping me build the Jeep except Ibach. Thank you, Ibach, and a few, just a few Remember? people. It's been me just building stuff, and I was like, I don't want to, I'm not going to waste time. This is my project. This might be the last thing I build. I'm going to do it right. I'm going to spend the money. I've made, I, you know, I've made some money doing things. I'm, I'm just going to buy the right stuff. I'm going to do it one time. I think I'm you've always been right pretty, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, no, please. I think you've always been pretty thorough with your builds, even down to your SCR build. Thorough, right? but... Yeah. I don't want to, like, our buddy Steve, that is also a 4x4. He's probably yeah. our only other 4x4 four four guy that, that I've been doing this stuff He's with. the second owner He's of the He's like, G20. well, do this, this, this. And I'm like, I don't want to, like, just do half and then later maybe do something else. Like, I'm just going to go, well, kind of like I do with all the cars. I'm going to go all the way right now. And whereas with, with a race car or a car where you build a car with, like, 700 horsepower, it gets too scary. Like, you get in, it's like, I can't even handle this thing. With that thing, like, it doesn't have much power, but it's, it can do all the little stuff and still be fun, but then it can also, I think it can grow into the other stuff, so. But you look, like, if we want to say you're low buck and I'm high buck, mm -hmm. I, I really don't think you've half-assed anything on your car. But it's not, but my thing is it's not, because if he wants to get to your level or grow to your level one day, he's going to have to spend money again. And even if he doesn't go all the way and high I've buck, already, if he went I've, high buck from the beginning, he might It would be, still end up being a less than doing yeah. the original. And with I inflation, if saying. that's still a thing. But you might spend more. But so it, my thing is, if but what it the is money, is like, let's say Chris's car is five seconds a lap faster than Martin's, but is she having any more fun than Martin? Like how often? Have well, you yeah, been because on she track? knows she's oh. five seconds lap faster, faster than him. Than even if she's really that, that only could be two fun seconds just than faster, that. she's but, always faster, even if she's only three seconds. But Martin's already the front wheel drive unlimited <laughs> champion. Well, until <laughs> and, and, and five until seconds you make slower Chris than a S13 uh, rear wheel drive yeah, champion. Make her a uh, Sentra, and there you go. But I mean, no, but I I think there's for, for all you guys are watching this ramble. Um, you, you could have a low buck car, but if you pay attention to details and do it right, you could still have a pretty damn good time right. and your car will be reliable. You just have to manage your expectations. It, exactly. And I think like, that's what it is. It's magic because I don't expect to be like no winning Uno unlimited all the time. I don't. I don't. But I do expect to be having fun. Being out there, often, not having your shit and break, being competitive, even if it's just bothering some of the fast guys and just getting in their way a little bit and still being able to dice a little bit, I'm cool with that because I'm doing it at a fraction of the budget. Like you're not gonna be breaking off the evasive team. Exactly, I'm getting but, owned by those dudes. But if in the twisties I could like hang my own and have a little fun here and there. Yeah, but you're you're I'm you're cool gonna be that. faster than at least half the guys. Right. And, I, and, I, and I'm cool with that. And that's exactly what ma managing that expectation. So, so low buck mods done smartly can get you pretty far. Yeah. And then you could spend. And, ta and ultimately, at the end of the day, though, it's seat time, seat time, seat time. And reliability. Because that's, that's how you're going to get faster. Yeah, exactly. You're not going to have seat time if you don't have reliability. Like, I mean, I'm my car, the car I build is going to have a mil spec harness and MoTeC and all this shit. But Martin has a reprogrammed stock ECU, Jim a, Wolf. a modified stock harness, but Martin modifies the stock harness correctly, mounts it correctly, isolates it correctly, and it'll work pretty damn good. I'm down. Plus, he, if you over-modify and do all that stuff, Jim's going to protest you <laughs> when you race. <laughs> oh, yeah, Jim. <laughs> Uh, Jim, if Jim, if you're out there. Oh, wow, bringing it back old school. 
<laughs> Mayo. Sometimes if you come to the track with the All right, right. No, I'm done, dude. I got to drive. Okay, you got to take this one then. All Those right. Those don't match. These ones are clear. That's All right, I'm over there. Are you afraid of the cooties? Oh, cool. Uh, your old gut back. That's post. Mike, okay, Mike's just, will tip over. It's post COVID. Oh, that's a good. R.I.P. Yeah. It's R.I.P. Like, Mike's It's kind of like when you're at the um, uh, churras also... churrasqueria. Like no. Oh yeah. No, no the more green light no, is no, turned no, over. No more food. No more food. You Mike does have to no, go to a dinner no, though, no. so we, we we shouldn't be mad at him about that. Why? Anyway. I'm uh, married, so no. Hey. So am I. <laughs> My wife's in Denver though. <laughs> I and my it. kids being babysat. So, so good. So, <sighs> when I go, do we have a segue to another topic? We no, should. So before we do that, actually, so I, I, I think the thing to take away from this is, and let's, and let's end it. You don't have to be big buck to have a lot of fun, but if you do things right, with with diligence, you can you can get by and have a damn good time for like. One fifth the cost. You gotta manage your fun to dollar ratio. Exactly. And that's totally up to you. That's not for us to set. That's for the end user to set. How much money do you want to spend? At what point? At what dollar point is it like this is not fun anymore, man? Like, I, I don't care what I'm doing with this and car. If you this can't, sucks. Uh, and no, it with, sucks. Especially with like Jeep, it's about the labor. If you can't do the labor, oh dude, it's dude. out the door. Dude, because I would how, never how many be able hours to would you think? Even if you were Completely good at everything. How many hour labor hours went into that car? Seven hundred thousand. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> you give a legit know. number. I don't like, know. give me, give me a ballpark, I mean, man. Like, so what? I mean, the let's give it a year. year? I, came in, I would do this one day a week for the first day a year, and I was. And you let, let's give it seven hours every day. So let's give it. Okay, sure, sure. So let's go two years, two year average. Two so, years. So fifty-two at. That's 104 weeks at seven that's hours. That's fair. And that includes, yeah, and that just got me just staring at the thing. Yeah, cause I'll lay a, or BSA. Oh, that's a good topic on Tim Conway right now. Oh, what's going on? I did listen to a lot of radio. Yeah. 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 Shout out to KFI. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, and that includes the, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's 729 hours in two years. That's $109,200. At our rate? At our, at our, our $150, rate. $150 an hour rate. Yeah, so don't come 109. to us. $109. Don't come to me to have your Jeep, 109 though. But I will say, that Jeep is amazing. Oh, yeah, tell us. Okay, okay, real quick. Real, let's, let's, let's set the ground, foreground here. Wait, no, we need, no. Oh, Mike, oh, we're, we're, we're just, shot okay, so back mon up. money to fun ratio, end of that topic. No, Sound I'm of, not drinking anymore. No, you're drinking, he's drinking water. No, I'm that, a better baby too. Just a, a, sip. a tiny, a tiny, a, sippy one, sip. a tiny one, a tiny one. Just a sip. Because we're gonna go into the Jeep topic. You're not gonna. Have to no, do we won't one. talk about the Jeep long because no one about this channel cares. People love about talk about. You guys food. should care about Jeff it Jeep because it it's pretty sick. Bad fucking ass. Like even if it's. But not. I, I do look at it and just go that 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 is beyond my money to fun ratio. Like I can't see myself spending that much money. And it equaling fun. But but it makes your penis bigger. It makes my G, my Jew yeah. bone my Jew bone is oh, terribly hurt. Salute boys. Thanks, Thanks guys. Money to fun ratio and congrats. But congrats to the maiden voyage of the Jeep, which he went out, he had some trouble, <laughs> but ultimately it made it home, it's driving on its own, and mm -hmm. you killed it. I did. I, I Thank guess you. like to back up a little bit. I I, I'm building this S13 because nobody has ever been competitive in an S13 in road racing or time attack for some reason. Really? Yeah, for some reason. It was it because it was never was an old enough chassis? I mean, it was never no, a new enough No, I don't know. Chassis? Like, everybody that tried did dorky shit, and their shit just blew up. So I'm trying to build, like, an S13. Remember my first race with the G20? And Bunuelo, there was an S13, a white S13 there in, S, in our SR class. Yeah, remember he, he could only go a few laps and his crap would blow up all the time? See, and that's another reason why you don't want to go boss to the wall sometimes. It's almost sometimes better just to go less no, horsepower but, and. But, or you could be reliable. just like, do it smart and your shit won't blow up. <clears throat> That's inappropriate. Let me check the cameras while we're doing it, because I think they may be low on film. So, yeah, if you don't have money, just be smart. 
Word. Or and if you do, do the right thing first. Don't waste money. You look what I always say. Make sure your shit doesn't overheat. Make sure your shit has oil pressure. Make sure that your wiring's not so booky that it all catches on fire. And you should do okay. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You don't need a mil spec harness or all AN plumbing and all that. Just do normal shit, but be smart about it. A lot of times that stuff happens though in one instant. Oh shit, there goes my oil, my oil pressure, my water, and my electrical. <laughs> At the same time. Ah! <laughs> and I'm going 100 miles an hour. Ah! In the but you learn quick. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> didn't you blow up a few engines in the process of learning? Stupid shit. I think yeah, it was the, like stupid shit. I think shit. the first one, Steve and I are still debating who forgot to tie into the distributor. Because <laughs> that's literally what happened. We're a big willow. If someone forgot to tie the distributor, they just over advanced itself and blew up. I blew up two engines at Willow because I bought, I had a turbo SER and I bought a tile wastegate with a one bar, whatever, spring. Sick. It was a 1.6 bar spring. Ooh, sickening. <laughs> I, be I believe it. Guy. I, it's 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 like, no, sweet. I, have. I remember that too, because... <laughs> What feels he has? Woo. I, was, going on? I was behind you, and your shit blew up, and all I could see is fire, and I go, f*** Jeff's gonna die, and then I see his fireball. Was he fast? No, he was going fast. Yeah. And then I couldn't that even see. point six part out. I couldn't even see his car because it was just <laughs> a ball of flame. I go, f*** Oh shit. And then I couldn't pull Back over. Mac race cars. I what turn did you blow up on? Like in the own. Omega. Yeah. On and top then, of the Omega you blew up? Like climbing the Omega? I don't know, but I, was I, in went, the I came Omega. off of, I came down and then went and off fuego. the right side. I, yeah. You and, came down in Fuego, so you blew up going up. Yeah, Dude, the, the, the fire the was crazy. Yeah. I couldn't even see his car. But then I couldn't pull over safely, so I tried to book it around the next lap. And then I came around again, I was going to stop because I thought maybe I got to save Jeff and pull him out of the car. I'd see him running like a bitch. <laughs> Excuse me, I put the fire out. Ben I didn't Jesus. run away. So no, you're I'm a fi fire. I put yeah. the fire you're out. You're running like a bitch, bro. And I go, all right. What are you talking running. about? I had a fire extinguisher and I put the fire out. Uh, that, How can I do that and then run away from it? I think that does constitute running, man. Like, all right, running to the fire, you mean? Dude, I was going to like, like. You just wanted to be heroic and have your No, like, uh, like. You mean you were running? I, mean, I, I, I was, I was going to give up my podium uh, I you said to I fucking was save you. I was going to give up my podium. So you had already oh, raided the story. You were already, you're already winning you're the already, race. You were going to stop there, and there pull over to save Instagram. my life. He had already, he already had the post of... ready. He had the post ready like, oh my God, I totally saved my bro. And they didn't even have anything to post on that Exactly. He was like, oh my God, I wish I had a MySpace. Yeah, that was free. Now I'm free even that. AOL.com. Mike. I podiumed that race, bitch. Oh, so you stopped, exactly. got back in your car, and then won the race? Double. Oh no, I was going <laughs> to... Such a good friend! Such a good friend! No, I didn't give a, I didn't give a f*** about podium. If I, if I could save you. You already said you won the race. If I could save her No, race, but I saw you run like a bitch. Like, all right, he's all right. Cool. So I didn't stop. <laughs> oh, learning so much about ourselves all right. right now. It's good stuff, good stuff. Anyway. And I still podium. Sweet, sweet, sweet. By the way. Sweet. So, on that note, do we have anything else to We didn't even talk about the Jeep. You were supposed to give a quick, a quickie rundown of the Jeep. What, what is this Jeep we were talking about earlier? Oh, well, I mean, we talked about it. We mentioned it. It wasn't one like we need to talk about it in detail. But all right, my all right. thing with that was, after building all these cars that we've done in the past, and a lot because we do You went it, balls deep with it. I did go balls Literally deep. Literally and figuratively, like... Because you know, I mean, a lot of people think, oh, because you have a media company, you do what it, you get no. all these parts for free. I didn't get shit. No. I got very few parts. Because none of our, of, there was none of the companies summit. we involved in, in don't give a F about Jeep stuff. Mm. No. And the people that give a care about Jeep stuff have no idea who Moto IQ is. That's true. <laughs> and that's okay because that gave me freedom to do what I wanted to and not have it to. It makes you appreciate it more. It does. No, honestly, it did. I mean, yeah, I'm yes, sure. I didn't get. I'm sure it does. Because it came right out of my pocket. Mm -hmm. But you got a spreadsheet? Yeah, I haven't added it up yet. No, I oh, don't. Oh, come, well, come on! You I don't, don't have part. I don't have parts total now. But I really don't. Good job. There were so. No, I'm I mean, just saying. So I, I see you working there because you don't want to keep the. I money. do. I'm, I'm gonna do it for. You're our gonna do about it about. But 
Yes, it was. You should have been doing it. Was, it doing. has been my most expensive endeavor Fuck. by far. It's what they say about Jeeps just empty every pocket. Hey. And yeah, it, 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 it did, but. I mean, if I had to pay someone else to do the labor, it would have been... You would be effed right now. Yeah. That would be and like The thing a, about it is, like, and, and, and about any of the cars that I'm building, it's like, I only appreciate it if I get into it. And half of my enjoyment of the car is the building of it. And that, like, I literally came in, I, had, I didn't even know what a solid axle vehicle was. Like, what, why do I need this shit? Because I was going to do that to the Forerunner originally, but those axles mm -hmm. I bought... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like everything, but literally everything I learned was off YouTube and like some a little bit off forums. So it's, there, there's a lot to say about the value that can be attained from that if you know where to look. And that's where I think we come in. Like, but a lot of I think a lot of people look at us like the same way. As like, a resource for yeah. And I wanna, good Yeah. When I do that, the video on that, I'm going to call out the people, and some of them are small, like, yeah. Website, like just small videos that have like 2,000 views. But like, oh, legit that's exactly info. exactly what I needed to learn for this one particular thing. And like, yeah, for, for coming from someone who had no idea what they were doing to build that that I took out two weekends ago and I took on, I mean, Big Bear's not a really technical, hard clutch, you know, place to four wheel, but on the hardest trails there, I mean, it was easy. And I could Sick. just put that thing anywhere I wanted and like, I mean, I did not any like just with stuff I learned off doing this stuff. So, yeah, that's but all I have to a say. I love it. That. That's all I got to say about but, that. But if there was dudes mm -hmm. that were less smart than you, they could have probably got the same parts and fucked it all up. Because well, I remember the thing. it's about the labor. Like if you do the labor, stuff, of, you yeah, know everything. Yeah. If you can't do it, you're gonna pay someone to do it. And then I'm and what rich. Sucks? you're rich. Well, I remember you were you, said you know like articulating everything. And making sure that everything had clearance and nothing would bind up. And, um, you know, like you spent a lot of time. That like, is probably half of the hours. It's and, just looking at it. And then I bet you a lot of even pro shops would just weld that shit together and would have problems. That's a seven hour a week average. Well, I mean, yeah. But the pro shops, they do those every day and they know it. So they the, have their. Maybe. One of the things I'm saying, yeah, yeah. Maybe. If you have the money, there are shops out there like Genrite that, can, that will do it. And you will pay for it. You know what really grinds butt, my gears? It's uh, worth it. Uh, so before let's we wrap get, it up. Yes, yeah, yes. Let, let's wrap it Jeepy up. Jeep. So, uh, yeah, if this goes well and you guys are interested in this, we'll probably continue to do these. Uh, we were pretty well behaved on this, so maybe we'll do them yeah. live sometime. And then you can ask us questions in, like, real time. We can try to answer them. Lack of content was definitely from lack of topic so please anything you want to talk about questions even if you want to help you figure out a problem with your car don't worry about being comments. too hard and that's what she said we'll even probably do some stuff that we would normally charge you to answer your questions yeah so yeah till next time we'll see ya adios muchachos adios muchachos